right, grade five. We are continuing with our big idea of understanding operations helps us to solve problems in the world, real world. Our concept today is to demonstrate an understanding of estimating for division with a three-digit number by a one-digit number divisor. Um, estimation strategies are a little bit different for division than they are for multiplication, addition, and subtraction. It's a little more limited as to what works well, and we'll discuss this. Um, let's take a look first at compatible numbers as a strategy. Um, compatible numbers, remember, are numbers that are easy to use, and that becomes quite important with division because there's a lot of numbers that you can't divide into certain groups. So uh, really important to use compatible numbers. For example, if we look at this problem, we have $837 that is to be shared between nine people about how much will each person get. So we are estimating 873 divided by 9. If we were to use front-end estimation, it would become 800. Can 800 be easily divided by 9? Well, can 8 be easily divided by 9 using our annexing 0 part portion of the rule? No, it can't. Um, but really, 873 is close to 900. So we're going to make it 900. Can 900 be divided by 9? Very easily. 900 divided by 9 is 100. So in this case, the compatible number was really easy to use because we know that 9 times 100 is 900. Uh, compatible numbers really is very similar to the estimation step when you are using algorithm method to divide. All right, let's take a look. Next problem we have here, 258 grapefruits. Each basket will have four grapefruits. So what we're estimating is 258 divided by eight. We could try front end rounding here. 200 divided by four, well, is that possible in our head? Yeah, we shouldn't be doing estimation that is going to end up in um, decimals or remainders. So we should be changing our number 258 into a oops sorry 8 into a 200 with zeros number or a 300 with zeros number to make it easy to actually do in our head. Estimation is often done in our head. It's not usually something we need to write down because it's a quick calculation to see if it's about right where it's a quick calculation to get an about answer. It does sometimes, of course, affect our um, closeness of our answer. So it depends on how close of an estimate you need. But for our purposes, we are always going to change it so that the numbers at the end are zeros, so they're easy to work with and easy to do in our head. If we were looking at 258, normally it would round to 300. 300 divided by 4, 3 divided by 4, annexing 0, can't really do. So let's try 200 and go with the front end rounding this time. 200 divided by 4, yeah, I can do that. 100 divided by 4 is, uh, sorry, 200 divided by 4 is like 20 divided by 4, right? We don't have to always annex both zeros, let's just annex 1. 20 divided by 4, well that's 5, so I add my 0 back on, well that's 50. And if we think of 200, we can very easily divide that into 4 groups of 50 each. So sometimes we're going to want to use front end rounding. Um, and usually uh, front end rounding or compatible numbers are the most um, are the easiest to use with division. So we're going to stick with those for now. And really, a big portion of it is the compatible number part. Is it something that's divisible by that number? If it's not, then you're going to have to change it into something else. You want something that's divisible by that number in order for it to be something that you do in your head. Again, it should not end up with decimals. It should not end up with remainders. Then it's not something you're able to do very well in your head. 
there are times where you may end up changing it to a number that um, ends in just one zero. So say for example, we had this same number, 258 divided by four again. I might decide that I'm going to change this into something that's easy to be divided by four. I'm going to maybe make it 24, and so of course I'm going to have to make that 240 divided by 4. Well, 24 can easily be divided by 4, which of course equals 6. 24 divided by 4, and I've annexed my 0, so I'm going to put it back on. So now it's 60. So again, that was a bit of a compatible number um, way of doing things because I'm looking for the two digits at the front that are going to be easy to be divided by four. I still end up with my answer ending in zero, and I do not end up with a remainder or a decimal. So this is an appropriate estimate for division. All right, at this point, you're going to practice. You're going to pause and practice and try the next three questions. So in question six, we have a photographer section of the yearbook. There can only be eight students on um, uh, photos per page, so only eight on a page. And about how many pages would be needed if we had 654 photos altogether? So remember, we're taking 654 photos and dividing it into groups of eight, because we can only have eight on a page, which then means it is division. Um, press pause and try that one now. Next one, Chris has 862 game tokens, so like those game coins or whatever. He plans to share them between his nine friends or between nine people. About how many tokens will each person get? So again, he's taking those tokens and he's dividing them into nine groups, one group per person. We're again going to have to divide. Go ahead and try that one. And last one, not a problem solving question, so pretty easy, 365 divided by four. Go ahead and try those and we'll go through the answers in a moment. Press pause and do that now. All right, let's try estimating for these. So we have 654 divided by eight. We want something that can easily be divided by eight. We can try front-end rounding, 600. No, that can't be divided eight by eight. Can just 60 be divided by eight? Eight times something equals 60. Hmm, well eight times eight equals 64. So I guess I could make this 640 divided by eight which would be pretty easy, because now I'm going to annex that zero. 64 divided by eight is eight, and I add that zero back on, making it 80. All right, now let's take a look at the next one. All right, we have 862 game pieces being divided between nine people. So we could use front end rounding, make this 800. Does 800 divided by 9 work? No. Does 80 times anything, or does 9 times anything equal 80, or 80 divided by 9 work? Um, because we could annex that 0 again. Um, well, I do know that 9 times 9 equals 81. So I could make this number 810. But I also know that 9 times 10 equals 90, so by annexing that 0 and adding it back on, I could make it 900 and it would work. So either one would be fine. Let's say I decided I was going to make it 900 divided by 9. Well, 9 divided by 9 is 1. Annex those zeros, put them back on. So it would equal 100. Or... I could make it 810 divided by 9, again annexing that 0. 9 divided by 81 equals just 9, put that 0 back on, could be 90. Either one is an appropriate estimate. 
1 is an overestimate because we've made that number larger than the original number. Our original number was 862. I've made it 900. That's bigger, so this is an overestimate. This, of course, is an underestimate because I've made my number smaller. 810 is smaller than 862. But either would be an appropriate estimate. Um, doesn't matter which one you choose. All right, let's take a very look, very close look at the last one. No problem solving question there. Just basically said 365 divided by 4. And again, I'm going to look at my number and I'm going to say, okay, well, is front end rounding going to work? 300 divided by 4. Well, I can't do that. What about annexing 0 and just looking at the 30 to help me see if there's something that's going to work? 4 times something that's close to 30. Hmm, 4 times 7 is 28, so with annexing 0, that would be 280. Well, that's fairly close. 400, sorry, 4 times 8, 32, with annexing 0, 320, that's fairly close. 4 times 9 is 36, ooh, with annexing 0, that would be 360. Wow, that is close. I think I'm going to pick that. So 360 divided by 4, annexing that 0, 36 divided by 4, well, that's going to equal 9. Add that 0 back on, 90 would be my estimate. I could also actually make it 400 divided by 4, because 365 would round up to 400. Um, then that would be an easy number to work with. 400 divided by 4 would be 100. Again, either one works. Remember with estimation, it really depends what strategy you use as to whether or not um, you're an overestimate or an underestimate and how close you're getting to that number. But really trying to use your multiplication facts to help you figure out what's close. Use that annexing zero to cut a, zero, a number off the back so that it's a little bit easier to work with is a good idea as well. All right, and now we're moving on to the concept practice. Page 98 and 99, numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 9, estimating for division. Remember to help, uh, to use your uh, multiplication facts to help you. You may use a multiplication table if you need. You may not use a calculator at any point within this unit. You may use a multiplication table for this portion. Remember if you have questions along the way that you please ask.